Hello, fan fans. I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we're going to take a look at the uh, Black Noise Noise Blocker Multi-Frame High-Speed S-Series fan. Uh, that's, you know, it's a, it's a mouthful. <clears throat> this one is the model M12-S3HS. So, um... I think this is the only multi-frame from Black Noise that I've got. I know everybody's familiar with the, ter the name Noise Blocker, but Noise Blocker is a product line from Black Noise. It is not the actual company name. And this, this comes with a gasket that looks kind of awkward to attach. Also, the four corners are made of silicone and are removable which I think is probably one of the best implementations for a corner that I can think of. Um, and certainly it's a lot easier to take off than, than the Be Quiet ones, which are just such, just feel sorry for anybody that doesn't have two hands trying to do that, it's not easy. Uh, we do have a uh, three pin connector sleeved cable. This is what the fan looks like. So the blades are nothing special looking. They don't have any weird like grooves or bumps or anything else. And it also comes with a um, I think they came with this one. Got a noise blocker sticker. Ooh. It's a puffy one too. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and listen. Oh darn it! It's doing so well. All right, almost. Silent. Uh, well, no, I shouldn't say almost. It's kind of silent. Oh, man. Oops. It is so hard to get it to that exact point. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it's, it's uh, there's a little bit of noise. It seems to be from the blades. There is a background noise that is high pitched and very faint. So for some people that background high pitched noise is going to be annoying.
And that's the maximum noise level. I would say that once it's in the case, you're not going to really hear it. And I think the reason they call this multi-frame is, well, I'm not entirely sure, but it seems like there's nothing special aside from the corners, which is confusing because, as you'll see, I have other black noise fans that have these same corners. So I, I, I just haven't been able to figure out what it is that makes this multi-frame. Um, so, sorry, I can't explain that to you. As far as static pressure is concerned, it's about one millimeter of static pressure, I would say. So, you know, it's it's good for a case, uh, good for uh, lesser air coolers, um, but not the really big air coolers and not water coolers. I almost forgot about the uh, the gasket. So I did want to show you how to install a gasket. Unfortunately, I don't know if it's if it's normally like this, but this one is a little bit loose fitting on my fan. So you're going to take these corner parts and you see there's that hole right there. You're going to take that and you're going to slide that into the corner. It's not a hard fit to do and you're going to do that with all four corners of course you know, sometimes trying to cater to a camera is annoying now the this is the easy part getting these uh, corner parts in the hard part is the actual gasket is designed to fit over the exterior side of the uh, frame but as you can see it doesn't want to stay seated it just keeps popping up and you can see also on this side so it's not really working very well and if it's not working well now it's going to be challenging for you to actually install it with the the gasket doing its job correctly. In other words, there's going to be a gap most likely uh, because it's not seated correctly against the frame or between the frame and the case or whatever the case, uh, whatever the situation is. So, yeah, not not a very well planned out uh, gasket, unfortunately. And I'm not really sure why they couldn't have come up with a design that actually would fit a little bit better. You know, um, I think they were just going for something a little bit too precise, perhaps. Please uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Let's take a look at the specs. Okay, the Black Noise Technologies Noise Blocker NB Multi Frame High Speed S Series M12 S3 HS. And this is a six, or I got it for about sixteen dollars, including shipping. I believe, and uh, certified CE and ROHS, made in China, one hundred twenty by twenty-five millimeters, one hundred thirty thousand hours of life, six-year warranty. Um, so you know that kind of shoots uh, Noctua, which uh, provides a similar similar results and a lot more price. Uh, 160 grams, seven blades, 105 millimeters between the mounting holes, 1800 RPMs max, 73 CFMs, which is 124 CMHs of airflow, approximately 0.75 to maybe one. Uh, I'll just I'll just give them the benefit of the doubt and I'll say one uh, millimeter of water water for the static pressure, 27 decibels, 45 centimeter long cable, not daisy chain, but it is sleeved. Also, there's a th the three pin three pin DC connector, nano SLI uh, bearings, 12 volts starting from 4.5 up to 13.2.96 watts, 0 0.08 amps, and uh, it does have indicators of direction of re rotation and flow. Turns in a clockwise direction. Comes with four fan bolts, and of course, the rubber gasket. Uh, is included and the corner cushions are both corner cushions and hole cushions because it's one entire unit of silicone for each corner 
and it has a the, the corners are reversible not that there's any difference by reversing them but you know you can reverse them if they made other models of corners for these fans then you could swap them um so yeah so i'm, I'm, I'm just going to change that to a yes because oops that's you know that's really all that needs to be said here you can reverse them you can swap them and i don't even know if black noise has any um other models of corners so because i didn't know i quickly went to their website and took a look and all i'm seeing are fans and yeah so they got a, a fair number wow look at that one 40 millimeters thick hmm i think is that 40 no that's not 40 it's 40 minute millimeters length and width but the thickness is definitely very thick um so yeah um they don't have other kinds of corners sadly all right hello thanks for watching my video and i need to ask for your help um so my financial situation has become very uncertain with my employer and also with the workers comp case i have from an injury i had at work uh last year in 2023 uh for which i'm currently suing the workers comp company i really don't know what's going to happen in the next few months but in i if you can find it within your ability without screwing yourself up to uh, help me out, you have two options. Um, one of those is which is to just go to my channel, Glenn's Fast Reviews, and uh, make a one-time donation there. Or if you would want to do a re uh, repeating donation, a monthly donation, you can go to patreon.com slash... Um, <clears throat> so, slash... G L E N N M I I. That's G as in Glenn, L E N as in Nancy, N as in Nancy, M as in Mary, I I. No, not I I, but I I, right? And uh, there are various choices for you to uh, sign up for. Um, if you <coughs> cannot afford the lowest um, option that I have put up there let me know and I will put in a lower option that can work for other people um, also I want to say thank you to my very first patreon Rudik uh, from Australia who has been very kind enough to uh, support me and even said if I can't afford the postage to send the gifts that he has uh, become eligible for that's okay um, I will certainly try to do that anyways um, and uh, it, it means a lot uh, because not only did you um, choose to financially support me, but you've also been supportive in some of your in some comments on my, some of my videos, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. So um, yeah, if there are any questions, please put them in the comments and uh, you here or on Patreon, and uh, I will try to get back to you as quickly as possible. Sometimes I don't see comments right away because of the way YouTube works. And, uh, oh, by the way, um, thank you to Bleeping Computer, and it's the owner of Bleeping Computer who goes by the name of Grindler online on, uh, on his uh, website for allowing me to use his platform to promote my channel, uh, the PC Expert Amateur. And uh, I appreciate it very much. And you sh if you need help with, uh, say, malware or technical problems with your computer, the uh, bleeping computer volunteers are a good bunch of people who have a, a great deal of knowledge about a lot of different kinds of problems with computers um, and with mal there is a dedicated volunteer <coughs> malware removal team there sorry and we'll be happy to help you and you can just go to bleepingcomputer.com and click on the forums. There's also lots of uh, great news about cybersecurity, about hackers and stuff like that.